Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, Rockstar released the Schlager GT the other day, and I figured I'd give my own personal thoughts and opinions on it. So, starting off with this vehicle is available on Legendary Motorsports for exactly $1.3 million. And what you get is a very nice looking Mercedes AMG uh, rendered into GTA, and it is an absolutely gorgeous vehicle. There are lots of really cool builds you can make with this car. Um, Lots of paint jobs you can mix and match to make something truly unique. It is just a great looking vehicle. Um, pretty much even stock is a great looking vehicle, even without knowing any upgrades. It doesn't really have any too, unique, uh, too many unique upgrades except some spoiler options and maybe some sun strips as you see on screen. But um, it, overall it's just a very aesthetically pleasing car and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, and I was really excited for this vehicle for a while and I'm very glad that it did come out because it is quite good. So, with that being said, well, how does it really perform? Um, the Benefactor Slogan GT is actually a really, really good all-around vehicle in my opinion. It has some pretty good top speed, but one of the biggest improvements in comparison to vehicles like the Tulip and the GTO is that they finally fixed the kind of bounciness um, with the vehicle. So with the Tulip and GTO, when you'd use these vehicles, they'd bounce around on this every time you hit a bump in the road, like I am right now. But here, it sticks pretty well to the road, which is really good as some awesome traction for the vehicle. And I'm really glad to see that this has been fixed. Um, I actually don't even think it was fixed. Uh, I don't. Even, maybe this vehicle wasn't affected by whatever glitch is going on, but. I don't know, um, but as you see, it performs quite well, and I'm really glad to hear that because I was worried uh, that this vehicle would not perform good after we saw uh, what happened with the previous two vehicles. So, awesome stuff. I really, really am uh, pleased with this vehicle. So, basically with that all in mind, so after I got hit by that truck, um, is this vehicle really worth uh, $1.3 million? Um, I'm going to have to say yes, I think that this vehicle is worth it. It's a pretty good all-around vehicle. It's very balanced. It looks great. It has some awesome customization on it. Nothing too unique, but it has some pretty awesome customization on it. Enough to really stick and stand out from many other sports cars in the game, especially this vehicle's looks. I was very excited for this vehicle for a long time. And I think it was really worth the wait because it was just a very awesome vehicle. Probably one of the strengths, if I did have to say, is this top speed is pretty fast, but um, I am pretty happy that this vehicle came out. So, yes, I recommend a buy for this vehicle. I think that it is very good, um, and obviously it won't be at the Praia, but it will still be pretty close, I think, in my opinion. I think it's still a pretty nice vehicle. Um, I recommend it more than the GTO, actually simply because it's just more balanced and all that suspension issues and stuff that these vehicles have been having. Anyway though, um, thank you guys for watching the video. And uh, uh, leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed. And uh, catch you guys later. Bye.